Hello, my name is Monica Riccelli, and I will be presenting today WebLogic Server 12.2.1 on Docker containers. This is a safe harbor statement, the development, release, and timing of any of our features described for Oracle products remain at the sole discretion of Oracle. WebLogic Server is part of the Cloud Application Foundation and is the basis for application services running on the Oracle Cloud Platform. This is our agenda. I will speak first of the certification effort of WebLogic Server running on Docker. Then I will talk a little bit about our WebLogic Server Docker images and containers, and I will run a demo for you. This year, we certified WebLogic Server 12.1.3 on Oracle Linux 6, Oracle Linux 7, and Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7, Docker version 1.3.3, and higher. Today we're announcing the certification of WebLogic Server 12.2.1, JDK version 8 on Oracle Linux 6, UL6, Oracle Linux 7, and Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7, Docker version 1.7 and higher. We have posted on GitHub some Docker files and supporting scripts to aid in the creation mm -hmm. of ULS, install images, and domain images. To create the install image, one of the Docker file extends the Oracle Linux 7 and then installs a JDK 8 and a WebLogic installation, either the generic installation or the developer installation. To create this image, you would first pull the Oracle Linux 7 image from Docker Hub. You would download the WebLogic installers and the JDK. By running the Docker file, you will create the WebLogic server install image. A second Docker file can be used to create a WebLogic server domain image. This Docker file extends the WebLogic server install image to create and configure a WebLogic server domain. From the WebLogic server domain image, you can start two different kinds of containers. An admin server container, which runs a single admin server, inside of a Docker container, or a WebLogic server managed server container, which runs a single managed server and a node manager. Using these two kinds of containers, you can create different topologies. One, the more traditional WebLogic server domain topology, which would run a single admin server inside of a container, and then have one or more clusters running managed servers in their own container. Another topology is a contained Oracle WebLogic Server application, which would be an admin server running inside of the container where you would deploy all the applications and resources. Under the Oracle WebLogic directory, you will find all the Docker files and supporting scripts to create WebLogic Server install and domain images. Under the Docker files directory, you will find the Docker files to create the WebLogic server install images for 12.1.3 and 12.2.1, as well as a script build Docker image that aids you in the creation of these images. Under the 12.2.1 directory, you will find two Docker files, one generic and one developer. One creates the generic WebLogic server install image, and the other one creates the developer WebLogic server install image. I will invoke build Docker image with two parameters, minus D for developer and minus V to indicate the versions either 12.1.3 or 12.2.1. If we now look at the Docker images, we'll see we have Oracle Linux 7, and then we have the WebLogic server install uh, image 
created using the quick installer, the de developer distribution. Under the samples domain, we have a couple of scripts that help you with house cleaning and two directories to create the WebLogic server domain images, one for 12.1.3 and one for 12.2.1. Under this directory, you will find several Docker files, and I have downloaded the supplemental quick installer. So today I will, in my demo, I'm going to show you how to create a WebLogic server domain image so that when you run the container from that image, it will build a MedRack domain, it will run the server and deploy an application to it. Under container scripts are all the supporting scripts that are needed to create the domain. I'll show you first how the Docker file looks. As you can see here, it extends the, the logic server 12 to one install image, the developer one. It installs a supplemental quick installer, and then it sets environment variables and copies the start sample script, which is necessary to build the WebLogic MedRack domain. The default command to start the container is bash. The docker build command will build the WebLogic server domain image and call it sample WLS 12.2.1. If we look at our images now, you will see that we have the sample WLS 12 to 1, which is the domain image. Now let's run a container from this. So now invoke the docker run minus TI uh, with the image ID. And this should start batch. This should start my container. So this is building the domain. Okay, the server is now running. So now let's go to the browser. And there it is, the MedRec application. Please join the WebLogic server community either through Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube videos, or our blog postings. Thank you very much.